Be open. This is a great one. At one point in our company, we had myself and my brother, my mom, my dad, who were divorced, working with us at the same time, my aunt, and uh, another lady that had worked with uh, my dad for 20 some years and worked with us. We we're huge on mentors, consultants. You know, my brother used a strategic coach, and I mean, just all these things. How can I get better? And so we have a consultant come in. This is really early in our company. This is like in the first couple years. We don't even have the money for this, but we decide, what if we brought a consultant in? Why not? Can we afford it? No. Guess we're going without a paycheck. Okay, if it's gonna be worth it, make us better, that's a good deal. So he, he visits with all the people in our office, and then he sits down with my brother and I. And he says, can I be honest with you? We're like, well, are you a why notter? You know, I don't need a yes person. We spent a lot of money to bring you in here. Of course I want you to be honest with us. He's like, okay, you guys are idiots. And I'm like, yeah, I'm okay with that, but what do you mean by that? He's like, what do you have your mom doing? Well, mom needed a job when, you know, she was a stay-at-home mom, raised us all, and then when they got divorced, she wanted to get in the workforce, something to do. And we put her into, you know, like data input. And he's like, your mom's like the most relational people person that exists. You guys are idiots for not having her out at the front face of your company. I was like, wow. And of course, his two brothers were like, uh, yeah, well, it was his idea. I mean, I always thought she should have been up front. I mean, I mean, you know, I'm not the visionary, but I can tell you that's where I thought she should have been. And, and it was just like, oh my gosh, we, you know, blinders. For, and I don't care who your employees are, you don't know them as good as you know your mom. And we still missed it. It was like, as soon as he said it, it was like, we are idiots. That's amazing. Because sometimes you need someone to come in that's got a fresh set of eyes to look at it. So we moved my mom out front. And my mom would not have made any of the requirements for someone you would have put at your front desk. Technology, telephone, ability to transfer calls, knowing software, zero, zero, zero across the board. We actually changed the name. She's the director of first impressions. That's our first person. Why? Because he said of, of 50 people call and or come into your office, if 50 people call or come into your office, how many of those do you two talk to? Well, we set the company up, unless it's an emergency, pretty much zero, unless we have an appointment. And they're like, yeah, your mom talks to all 50, generally speaking. And it was like, my Lord. And it, there was, people would call up, now granted, most of our people were retired. They talked to my mom for 30, 40 minutes. Now you could go up as an employer and you could say, hey, do your job, you know, transfer the, transfer the call and do the, you know, the input. And, no, 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 no. What was our third thing? Build relationships with our people. You talk to them all day, I don't care. That's perfect, right? And then she'd go to transfer them to me and 90, seven times out of 10, it'd be a dial tone. Ah, buzz mom up, hey, mom, you hung up on them. Oh my gosh, you'd hear the phone ring, and then you'd hear her laugh, and then they'd laugh, and then they'd, she'd buzz them back to me again. That was just the way it was, but it was worth it from that standpoint.